Hello from TeenYetDragon.com, this is GCFU, and today I'm going to talk about some cool moves in Talus Magic of Sam Lawson Gong. If you want to learn and get ordained, you can always uh, email us today and get ordained. Everything is done by Distin. You can have yourself ordained by Distin. Very easy. You don't need to travel and you can learn uh, online. Uh, we'll be teaching and giving you personal teaching online. Very cool. Anyway, so today I want to introduce or talk about this uh, very cool thing that a lot of people ask and want to understand. Oh, why do you have these things? You know, it's pretty cool. This is what we call the sudden coup. Body movement, or body action sequence, whatever, okay? Some people say, oh, why do you have to do all these fancy moves? It's just some fancy flowery moves and stuff like that. Now, for example, like this one, okay? <clears throat> uh, okay, like, like this one. Yum 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 low low behind, and get you, yum some toy, cup you, loving hoi, like this. Okay, now if you see these kind of stuff, people are like, ah, oh, why are you doing all these fancy Jackie Chan move? And it's not required. Actually, you know what? It is required. Um, because why? Because we are born with a body. Okay, so if if you're born with a body, you need to use your body to use magic. You cannot do everything by just sitting there and talking and talking and talking. You need to use your body. Magic. Utilize every part of your body. And because we know how every part of the body, your, your physical body, can be like a remote control of your energy body. Okay? So by it's like pressure point and meridian. So when you when you do something here and here everything will will trigger your energy body to react and then your energy body will will have some kind of stuff happen which then leads to whatever effect you wanted to 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 do for example okay for example <coughs> um in the energy body okay we know that we have the energy heart the fast sum right here now the two nipple, okay, find this spot everyone, okay, two nipple right in the center, okay, right here. And now this is the center point of your energy heart, okay, energy heart. Now to measure where the things start, you take your palm and do this hand sign. Put this over the thing, okay. Now, including one, two, three, four, right? You have four. With this is five, right? So right on top, right here, this, this point, okay, is where your top portion energy body start to transfer stuff into this heart area. This is your energy heart, you see? Okay, so we get Okay, we, we get how to measure the thing, right? Now, if you do this to the side, okay? Five finger from the side. You see this one? Okay, I'm putting my finger here, okay? This is the left and right channel. This is the center channel. I'll talk about it later on, okay? Now, when we do the sword finger, usually, you see, we put the sword finger in the center, and then we stomp and take and we use sometimes you see I do this poke poke and then like this why do we do this it's because we want to pick up the energy from this channel see right here right at the spot that I just marked right here you see you pick up the energy right left right channel see left right channel and you push it out this three um, <clears throat> The, the, the three meridian, whatever you want to call it, channel, meridian, have different properties in them. Like the, the, um, the kind of energy that you can pick up is different. It's because of how our energy body, not this physical body, but the energy body in the pre-heaven dimension that is overlapping us right now is going to work differently according to where you pick up this energy 
And this is something that is very complex that we start to explain all that details. And you will learn and accumulate bits and pieces of these knowledge when you learn in our lineage and be able to decode the whole human body, uh, different points and stuff, and you understand why we do this, 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 and such. So, in general, okay, the left side of your body, the left hand, okay, left side, left side, this thing come first, okay, and then it goes to the center, and then it goes to the right side. When we are picking up energies with the hand, okay, the left side picks up something, some kind of energy that is going to um, uh, inf infuse or, how do you say it? It's, it's like some kind of stuff, okay, that will be going into what you're doing and it will help this thing to, to grow. Okay, to like like when uh, uh, when the mild, warm sunlight shines on the plants and flowers, it nourish and empowers them. It helps them to get internally energized. Okay, internally energized, and you feel good, energized. Okay, with this power right here. Now, with the power right here, it's different. This is like uh, the super hot and bright sun outside during the uh, afternoon. This kind of energy helps everything to expose the power uh, from inside to outside. Like it makes you sweat and want to move, do things. Okay, it's not like oh, you internally feel so good, so so um, packed up inside. You know, you're energized. Now this one is things will push out it will help you show your power okay so you can pretty much say like sum it up like energy power energy power energy power okay this in the center is the balance between the two <clears throat> these things in the center is what we call the essence this is like the capital resources um like uh, how do I say it? Um, let's say, okay, you have flour, okay, flour. Now this is to add stuff to the flour, adding flavor, adding egg and stuff, it makes the flour richer. Now this is like when you bake the flour and it just and transform, okay? So, <laughs> okay, get the idea? So this is like the most important thing that you need to um, to have in order to do anything. It's like it's like you need to have money, okay, in order to do other things. Okay, this is this is the capital. And then when you push over here, the capital got empowers. When you push it to here, the empowered uh, energy inside exposed out of its uh, capsule, and it activates. Okay, so. Um, Let's say one of our cool moves right here, okay? First, the first uh, sun cut that you learn, okay? Like this. Like this, okay? With the spell, of course. And when you're doing it, okay, you see, you, you will take, look, you take the essence out from the center, right? And then you go like that to make the essence align and and stay in uh, this area right okay and then when you do this touch right here this is this is this line right here touch and push okay align and then click click stomp the foot push out <laughs> you see all these action can be explained move by move they can be decoded when you learn in the lineage you know but right now i'm just going to like do a little brief introduction okay this is mostly like this take out the essence okay realign the structure now when you do this okay you are um giving a command for the essence to tune the essence for a certain kind of work okay and then put here 
meaning that I need the energy from this arm. This is the start point. Okay, when you hit here, you want energy to start, and you push guide energy into into this section, the the uh, sword finger. Okay, now stay, and then get energy to empower. Get energy to uh, to output the power, expose power, stomp energy come out of your body and push out and powers things okay so basically you can explain everything now one more it's like this okay like this with the spell of course <clears throat> now this is the second heart spells uh sun could now this is very different uh this one okay you you connect to the uh, two section of your fa sun, and then you activate stuff, and then you do the same. Okay, you see everything is explainable. It's not like not explainable. Okay, when you're in the lineage, you learn the details of these things as you go. But um, yeah, first you learn to copy. You know, just do as is first, and then you fine tune and you start to understand what this and that means. So you see, we just explain three different meridian and also we have different section on the arm now if you look at the arm as one section okay one section right here uh not, not one section one, one unit okay we have three parts one two three right resources this is the work okay working uh processing moving kind of power okay this is where you where it start to use the resources this is where it determine if the resources will flow into the system to be used so if you want to <coughs> um let's say we are empowering something okay if you see i put my short finger right here and then i i go like that okay it means that i am giving assisting power to this area which is the working force the energy okay to to push this the thing out and uh this is more like a, a forceful kind of uh hand sign now if i put my finger on here while well, i do like that okay now this is a commanding power it's a changing uh starting and power like, like a commanding power okay so Look, right here. Very different kind of power. And if I put it right here, like this, now this is to give more resources down the road. Okay, This is to push in more resources. It's a different kind of uh, assisting position already. I can be using my left hand or my right hand, sword finger too, even other hand sign. The energy from the left hand and the right hand is not the same as i said already the left hand's energy is more mild and it's good for helping things giving backup support uh empower that kind of stuff and also it can draw in things now this the right hand the energy on the right hand is more useful for doing work starting work and bringing things out to happen making things happen starting something doing magic you want something to start you use the right hand you want to empower for some someone to you know keep that energy as a supportive power use your left hand different hand different power we also use our foot or feet to do magic we can use the different um part of your feet to draw food on the ground and stomp and get that energy out it's a lot of different variation all parts of your body can be used you can even be drawing symbols with your eyes with your tongue with your head everywhere can be used because the energy um with different parts of your body are doing different things right and if you understand the magic body your, your energy body uh and how it corresponds to different features uh, on your physical body then you know why you must do these things now some people think that oh all these things are just you know fancy moves and uh, stuff like that flowery stuff it's not flowery okay it's like um 
when we are chopping vegetables with a knife, okay, you see a chef go da -da 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 -da, and they have special techniques. Da -da 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 -da, okay, is that flowery? Are they trying to show off? Not really. It's just because when they do it like that, okay, it's safer and it's also faster and more efficient and it automatically trains you to chop fast while having very equal slices of stuff. It's just because you cannot do it yet and you think they're showing off because you cannot do it. When you, when you can do it, you actually appreciate the technique because you know, wow, it's actually much easier to chop like that and it's, it's like much faster than how you're trying to do it one by one. So that's why. In magic, we have a lot of moves like this. Uh, one more, okay, just like this. Like this, okay? Now, this is one of the sun uh body movement. Now, this kind of stuff, you can see, it, it looks very complex, very powerful, and yeah, okay? So, it's not like you can just substitute all these with like, <laughs> it's not possible, okay? It's like you need to drive, walk, climb a mountain and, you know, get over there. It's not s substitutable by or just talking. It's not possible because I have used so many parts of my body to do like different kinds of energy is in action, doing this magic this movement, magic movement, okay, working with the energies, it cannot be substituted by, or something like, it's not the same. You see, you, your body didn't do, then there's nothing coming out, right? Like, I did this, and that is moving all the stuff right here. If you just do, you didn't move here. This energy is not going to come out. And only people who doesn't know about your energy body and how it relates to this body right here will think that you can do something very simple and substitute all these complex movements. Oh yeah, it's like <laughs> you have to write a letter to make someone understand your thought. You need to write a lot of words. You cannot just express everything into one word. It's not possible. People cannot feel everything from you. You need to write it, right? If you feel like 50 feelings, okay, 50 kind of thoughts, you need to write 50 different thoughts right here, okay, so that people can read. You, if you compact it into one word, people only get one word, <laughs> Okay, so you cannot really go shortcut and think you can just skip all these and do it the simple way. Now there's another more crazy um, trend out there is people think that you can visualize and imagine yourself doing a ritual and then call that done. Oh, I did the magic. Whoa. <laughs> What can I say, okay? It's like, okay, I know you want to be lazy, but <laughs> come on, you cannot do that, okay? Working with magic, you're doing energy work from your body to outside a physical object, and the physical object carries your energy and go out to different places and affect them, okay? If you don't do it externally, Things around you cannot get what you have inside. If you want people to get your feelings, you need to act it out. And that is why in magic, we need to learn how to act it out. You cannot just suppress yourself and then think and visualize. Everything you visualize inside and stuff like that, it's all inside yourself. Nothing has been done. Because you didn't do it. <laughs> it's so simple. You didn't do anything. In order for magic power to work, you cannot just have everything done inside yourself. You have to do it inside yourself and, and then output that thing. Launch it out, right? And to launch all these things out, you need physical action. Right? Just like we want to make people feel our inside 
uh, the energy inside, or we are frustrated like this. Okay, you want to well, <laughs> use the your voice frustrated like this when we do spells. Okay, there's a lot of people doing spells like this. Um, okay, let's let's try a spell. Okay, uh, the Jing Tin Day spell. Okay. 神龍九轉,天地清靜,三界內外,零事七星,三光火風,神父分隔,三羅神快,天一串令,急急如律令。You see people do a spell, some is even worse. 神龍九轉,天地清靜,三界內外,零事七星。You can't even hear them. I mean, look, okay, you want your power to expose. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> I can't feel any power, okay? When you do magic, your voice, your action, everything need to match what is inside in order for what's inside to come out, okay? Look, energy, come up, hold at the chest, pack up the air, speak. Like this. Different, right? Let's just say the word cup cup you lang. Okay? If you go like cup cup you lang, it's like robotic. Cup cup you lang. Like this, okay? You can go like this. Cup cup you lang. Like this. Different, right? Or Cup cup you ling. You see? Like when we do speech, it's kinda like that. You demonstrate, you present yourself, right? With magic, you have to do it out. You cannot be shy and then keep everything inside. Because if your intention is to keep things inside, your magic power all stay inside and you suck. Okay? So in order for your magic to come out, you need to go outside, push it out. Okay, that is what magic is like. You cannot really just clamp things inside and then be quiet, you know, like like, <laughs> like that, okay? So, that's how magic works. <laughs> Hope you liked the video, and remember to share, subscribe, like, and we'll see you in the next video. Uh, remember, if you want to learn the task magic that we teach Samos and Kung, you can get ordained today by emailing us. Check the email below. Um, you can get ordained online. No need to travel. And you can learn. Get personal learning, teaching okay, online. Uh, email, video, all that kind of stuff. Very cool. So, email us to get started today. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.